Hello, Jason here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Section H of UK building regs. So, building regs and septic tanks are a very, very popular topic. So, how will this document help you if you're looking to install or replace a septic tank? Well, let me show you. So let me set the scene and start by showing you a very interesting paragraph, which is at the beginning of UK building regs here. And I've highlighted it. It says, there is no obligation to adopt any particular solution contained in an approved document if you prefer to meet the relevant requirement in some other way. So many people think that UK building regs, section H of the building regs here is mandatory, it's law couldn't be further from the truth it's just guidelines guidelines principles showing you how to achieve the requirements uh, as laid out by the secretary of state so what are the requirements the two requirements laid out by the secretary of state if you have a septic tank or soak away well let me show you okay so here's the requirements as laid out by the secretary of state and um, these requirements are law they have to be met and they have to be satisfied so what are some of these requirements well let me show you all right so regarding wastewater treatment systems and cesspools it starts off by saying any septic tank and its form of secondary treatment other wastewater treatment system or, se or cesspool shall be cited and constructed that number one it's not prejudicial to health of any person it will not contaminate any water course, underground water, water supply. There are adequate, adequate means of access for emptying and maintenance. D, where relevant, it will function to a sufficient standard for the protection of health in the event of a power failure. Moving on to section two. It says any septic tank, holding tank, which is part of a wastewater treatment system or cesspool, shall be of adequate capacity, constructed, that it is impermeable to liquids, and C, adequately ventilated. Uh, ventilated sorry. And last section here, where a foul water drainage system from a building discharges to a septic tank, wastewater treatment system or cesspool, a durable notice shall be affixed in a suitable place in the building containing information on any continuing maintenance required to avoid risks of health. So those um, requirements that I've just read you there, they are the law. They must be met and they must be satisfied. Now, how you do that is up to you, <laughs> but obviously they have to be met. And so, as I said before, Section 8 of the building regs is just the whole list of principles and guidance serving suggestions of how to achieve and satisfy their requirements so here on in there's a whole list of uh of, of different um guidance measures and as i said serving suggestions to help you um achieve those requirements so in here you'll notice you've got reed beds you've got um, in this instance, a herringbone drainage system. Many people think they have to put a herringbone drainage system in because it says it in here. It's not true. You can use septic tank, soak away crates. You can use soak away pitch. You can use any type of, of drainage field. Come to that. As long as you can prove to the building inspectors that it meets the Secretary of State's requirements. Um, other things in here um it goes on about cesspools marking uh, uh, marking for example this is an interesting one which many people don't know about a notice should be fixed within the building describing the necessary maintenance an example of such wording is the foul drainage system from this property discharges to a package treatment works maintenance is required uh, and then you put the whatever it is in there, you know, yearly, monthly, whatever, and should be carried out by the owner in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. The owner is legally responsible to ensure that the system does not cause pollution, isn't a health hazard, hazard or, a nuisance, uh, or a nuisance. So I'd probably say that 99.9% .9 of people in the UK do not have some kind of um, notice attached, you know, somewhere in the house, affixed somewhere in the house with this actual information on um so 
let me show you some other interesting things. Yeah, it goes on about, tells you the different kind of grey water and rainwater storage tanks you can or can't use. Um, it then goes on about maintenance of treatment systems, etc, etc. And the reason I'm showing you this is because if you'd like to learn or know more information about the Section H of the Building X, then I'm giving a copy of this away for free. So let me just get it up here. That's right. So if you click the link right below this video, if you click the link below this video, it will take you to a page like you can see on screen here. And if you put your name, let me just make this a bit bigger. If you put your name here, so for example, let's say it was Jason, and, let, and then you put your email address in, so let's say it's sales at septictank.co.uk, and you click submit, right? I will then send you a free copy of UK Building Regs. And this is a very, very, very informative and interesting document that can save you a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of hassle. And that's why I've made, excuse me, that's why I've made this video for you today. So if you'd like your free copy of Building Rigs, then as I said, just click the link below this video and you can have your free copy. There's no con, there's no catch. And um, that's the reason I like doing these videos is because I love helping people and every little help. So if this helps you, to make your septic tank, your cesspool or your sewage treatment uh, plant compliant, then I'm happy. Job done, as it were. So listen, hope that's helped you. That's today's video. Um, that's my free tip of the day. If you'd like to see more free videos, then just go to septictank.co.uk. Um, or you can type in septic tank TV uh, on, in Google. You'll be taken to my YouTube TV, septic tank TV channel. And if you subscribe to my um, septic tank TV channel, you'll be in with a chance to win a free septic tank and soap waker. So listen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.